Jared Poland. Fro knows photo. Dot com and it's been a long while since I updated my own personal photo website at jaredpolin.com. There's a lot of music photos, there's some photo stories, but I haven't put up my Six Degrees project onto my website, and it's honestly time for me to do an update. Now, if you didn't know, I personally use Squarespace for my jaredpolin.com because it's super easy for me to go in on the back end and make the changes I need to make without being an HTML whiz or a website whiz. It is just absolutely easy to use and this video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you don't have your own, please go check out squarespace.com slash photo to get a 14 day free trial. Try it out, see if you like it. If you don't like it and it's not for you, no harm, no foul. But if you do decide that it's for you, please use my affiliate link, which is photo at checkout to get 10% off your first entire order. So let's look at this. This is jaredpolin.com. This is my website. At least we're on the back end of Squarespace. Now, it leads you right to my mom's photos because that's where I linked it to. I wanna change that. I wanna give people the option on the front end to select where they end up going, whether it's a six degree story or music or wherever it ends up being. I'm not actually sure what it's going to be yet, but under personal photo stories, I've got those, I've got music photo stories. And what I really wanna do is add my Six Degrees project here. I've done one full line of Six Degrees, meaning I've done six different photo shoots out of it, and I wanna get it on the site, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do it, because this is what I'm doing. I figured if I'm gonna update my own website, I might as well just record it and share it with you guys so maybe you could learn from it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do down here on the back end is I'm going into the not linked part of the website, meaning anything that's below this that says not linked is not gonna show up by accident. So it gives you time to make the changes that you want before you make it live. Because if I changed it up here, it's gonna instantly make it live, which is actually pretty cool because it just works really well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna make another one of these link tree type things. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna go ahead and hit folder and I'm gonna call it six degrees line one and that is going to create it it's that simple so what i need to do next is i need to go ahead and add a page so add a page i want to add a gallery so here's the first gallery it's going to be look over here on the right hand side i've got six degrees for Squarespace, I've got Steve Weatherford, Lewis Howes, Jason Flom, Maddie Noyes, Stefan Macchio, Charlie Walk. So 1-1 one one means it's, what does it mean, Jared? Oh, <laughs> the one at the end means that's line one. And it's photo shoot one, line one. Photo shoot two, line two. So or degree two, degree three, degree four, and everything along those lines. Okay, so I have to cut in here real quick and say when I finished the video, I realized that for the six degrees, I was doing one dash one, then two dash one, then three dash one, all the way up to six dash one. And I think that the proper way that it should be done is it should be, let's say it's the second degree, it should be line one, degree two. And I'm sure it could go the other way where it's degree two, line one, but I think it should be six degrees, one, dash two, one, dash three, all the way up to one, dash six. So that way it denotes that it's line one, and then what number of the degree? So let's get back to the video. Let me tell you how I've already exported the images. I've already exported the images at 2,500 pixels across uh, 100 resolution out of Lightroom at 300 DPI because that's just how I've done it. Uh, so what happens is Squarespace will upload those images, convert it into a bunch of different sizes, and you really don't have to do much beyond that. But I start with 2,500 pixels on the longest edge because that's the size that I think will look good. I don't worry about people stealing these images at all. I just wanna showcase these images on the website. And honestly, to save time, you're not gonna see me export all the images because that would take quite a lot of time. So we've got Steve W. Weatherford 1-1, Weatherford 1-1. And so when I click out of it, you accept it, it goes, this collection is empty, click here to add or drag your items, which is what I'm gonna do. I think you have to, so I select the top image, because I 
pretty sure this is how I put it in order. If I was to select the bottom images first, I think it would put those first, and I don't want to spend the time to make the changes. My images are in chronological order as I've taken them, but you can go in and rearrange them later. So it's as simple as selecting these images, dragging them over here, and then it starts to load them. Now, instead of me just sitting here waiting for them to load, I've discovered I can go back to pages by clicking on pages. I can come back down here and hit add another page. So I can just keep going. Gallery, so we've got Lewis, H-O-W-E-S, which is then 2-1. So then that's gonna go ahead and prompt me. And the reason I'm showing you guys this in real time is I just wanna show you how easy it is for me to upload all of these images, redo my website the way that I wanna do it, and not have to hire somebody else to do it. That's not saying that if you have a massive project and you want something totally unique and designed that's just for you, then that's where you're gonna look at hiring somebody else to do it. But keep in mind that a lot of you guys out there can't afford to hire somebody else to build that site. And honestly, these Squarespace sites, oh, I should have been uploading this, it would have been done by now, are really damn good. So drag those in there, same thing, we're gonna go back, then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, another four times. That's it, I got those six galleries building. They should probably be done by now. Oh cool, it's gonna give me a preview of what it's gonna look like. Yeah, so Steve's are still loading here, you can see what's happening. If I wanted to delete or move an image, I could simply go ahead and do that. Um, one thing that I wanna add here is that I've already uploaded the Steve Weatherford Six Degrees of Photography YouTube video. So I'm gonna click down here. Oh no, wait, what am I gonna do? I have to add video. How do I add video again, Jared? Oh, I have to click the plus sign, there it is, and add video. Now it's gonna ask me for the URL. So I already go over here to YouTube, I'm grabbing the top URL, and I'm gonna enter it right here. And it's gonna go ahead and make the thumbnail. It's gonna grab it right from the video, and I can hit save and publish because it's still not on the front end of the site, it's just on a hidden part. So I hit save and publish, and now when we get to the end, watch this, so this is how I have my galleries. You could watch this, you can go, this is the last image, and then after the next image, you've got the video with a terrible looking thumbnail. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed is that when you use Squarespace and you pull the thumbnail right from YouTube, it doesn't look as good. So I could go back, download the thumbnail right from YouTube on the back end and re-upload it and it should be much cleaner. I'm not gonna do that now, I can do that later. But I also have, a, what a, I have two more of those up. So I can go to Lewis Howells and I hit the plus button. Oh, and keep in mind, I didn't know, I forgot where to get the video part, but, oh, what did, did I drag the wrong images in here? Did I do that? Did I do that? I guess I did. Why didn't anybody correct me? So let me go ahead and get rid of these images that I don't need. I'm gonna select them all and hit remove. I'm confirming that I'm removing them. I personally, I did it, it was my fault. My mistake. Let me just make sure that these are the right Lewis Howes images. Yep, they are. I must have accidentally grabbed the other ones, which some of you probably picked up on the back end or when I was doing it. And anyway, I'm gonna add the video. So if you make a mistake, you make a mistake, you just keep going. We've got the video, then we've got Six Degrees of Photography, Episode Two, Lewis Howes. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Go back here, and while those are all adding, hit that right there. Wait for this thumbnail to load. And so that's, I guess, the thumbnail I used. I'll probably change it, save and publish. And so that's added to the end right there. That little mistake didn't set me back too far. It just, I just, I caught it. So I removed those images and went there. And then the next one that's live is Jason Flom. Those are his images, add a video, boom, grab the URL. A lot of this speed that goes into making the website is preparation so you know the things that you're going to do like that's why I made this list this is the list that I went through of things that I want to do on the site and already export the images you can see that this can happen fairly quick that I'm updating the website 
Um, so all that's done. All of the other images should already be loaded. But let me show you how we make this live on the website. So we go from not linked and we've got all of these other ones up here. I just want to go ahead and drag six degrees above music portfolio and now it's live on the internet. It's live. So if I was to go to Jared, well, it's showing it to me right here. I know it's live. And if I went to jaredpoland.com right now, fine. You want me to go to jaredpoland.com in an incognito window? jaredpoland.com. Please work. enter me. We're gonna enter me. We're probably not changing enter me, but I may make some changes there. So there it is, six degrees line one. We can go to Steve Weatherford. He's there. We can hopefully, did I get the images right? Click on Lewis Howes. There's Lewis's. And then down to Charlie Walk all the way at the bottom here. And it will go ahead and load. So you've got all of the images. They'll load up like this. Like I said, I'm running ScreenFlow. How much time do you have left? Because I get 30 minutes of record time on this thing. I promised Dan it was going to be like 20 minutes. I'm absolutely wrong. This is going to be much longer. So you can see that this is the, the front end of the website that's live. And that literally just like that, I put six galleries up in no time. In probably, well, we're 13 minutes into the video. So this part, even with the mistakes I made, eight minutes. And then if you include adding, uh, exporting all the images, another 10, 15 minutes to get all the images ready. Oh, and I just realized I need to go back into Charlie's um, gallery here to move those images around because I want these images to go into order because these were taken during an interview session, which happened right over, it was before this. At, okay, it was right before this. Yeah, because he was, we were on the car, in the car going there, so we got that. And then this image, I kind of want to move, oop, wait, hold on. Let me unselect all of them. Okay, select this one. And I want to move this one to right here. And then it's going to go ahead and put that live on the site, because I'm editing live on the site. And now it's in the order that I want it to be in. So again, this is, Super simple and super easy to use. I'm not just doing this to plug Squarespace, though they are a major sponsor and I do appreciate the fact that they do that. And as I said, for the last four or five years of using them and promoting them, that I wouldn't be doing it if it didn't work so well. Um, and so a big thanks to them for being a sponsor on the site. And I will tell you again, if you don't have it, get your 14 day free trial at squarespace.com slash photo. Use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off. I've also created a free guide to branding that includes showing you how I build a site as well, but gives you a ton of branding and marketing to, uh, advice. If you go to fronosphoto.com slash branding, this is like a two and a half ish hour video that I made that I just give away for you signing up for uh, my email list. So that's a really good video. So that's part of what I wanted to have done. So we're 15 minutes in, I still have 15 minutes left. So let me go down my list. I want, I, I talked about this. We've built the new link tree. I've added six new galleries, quickly added them. Uh, I changed the order of Charlie's images. I added the YouTube videos, really easy. Um, now I wanna consolidate and remove old galleries because a lot of this stuff is out of date. It doesn't represent me to have music candid li and live. They're great images and I may get back to putting them up there, but I'm, in my opinion, my whole thing is about photo stories. I wanna share photo stories. So that's what I should have on my website and that's why I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of this stuff. Like music portfolio, I may wanna come back to it later, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down into non-linked. Yep, I just, I didn't move it far enough. So music, non-linked. It's no longer linked. So when we go to jaredpoland.com in this incognito window, we go again, enter me, which is kind of annoying if you're coming back to my site. I'll, I'm gonna change it, but down here, it's no longer there. No longer music portfolio, it's gone. But it's not gone for good because it's saved still, it's just not linked. Personal photo stories. I kind of like these personal photo stories. We've got my mom, we've got the Grand Canyon, we've got Auschwitz, we got Bedia, we got the 100-year-old factory. I 
probably don't need the Bedia story. I need to go in and redo these personal photo stories, though I don't know that I like that it's called personal photo stories. I like it to just be called photo stories. So let me go ahead and change that. Even though six degrees, they are photo stories, and then I go down here and hit save, I, I still want it to be called photo stories. It doesn't matter if it's personal or not. It's my photo stories that I wanna share. Six degrees line one, boom, that's great. Music photo stories. Well, I love some of these photo stories. I don't wanna get rid of them. Like this Perry Farrell photo story is great. So it's gonna go in here. I honestly don't know that the Grand Canyon photo story is worthy of being on my website. It's good work. Well, I'll leave it there. But it's not very representative of what I personally do. The Auschwitz photo, yeah, Bedia can go, this photo story can go. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move it down here to get it unlinked. Uh, Auschwitz is staying. The 100 year old factory, I love this photo story. It's one of my favorite photo stories that I've ever done. It was a 100 year old factory, obviously. So we've got mom, Perry Farrell. I'm gonna move the Grand Canyon down. I'm gonna move 100 year old factory up. Modest Yahoo was a great photo story. Gavin DeGraw was a great photo story, but I'm not sure that I need them right now. They could be ancillary photo stories as extra things that I put somewhere. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and move them down here. I'm gonna drop the Bedia back in there as well. Time, we're good, still good. Um, 100 Year Old Factory, so this is what's live and representing me right now on my website. And you can see it, I've got six degrees and photo stories. So I've got my moms, I've got Perry Farrell, I've got 100 Year Old Factory, Auschwitz, the Grand Canyon. I should probably figure out a way to make it even better, to have more links, whether it's music related photo stories or family related photo stories. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm not sure how that's gonna work just now, but let's, let's keep moving. So I did that, I, I consolidated to the stuff that I want on my website. It's kind of like you, you wanna put stuff on your website that represents you. Don't have things there that you're like, well, I'm wishy-washy about, which is honestly, I'm wishy-washy about the Grand Canyon stuff because that's, even though it's good stuff, it doesn't really showcase what I like to do, my personal photo stories. I could put my Paris photo stories up here too. I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll think of, people photo stories and travel photo stories, though I don't have a lot of travel photo stories, so I may not add it there because I don't just wanna have two galleries in, in a folder. I want like four, at least three, and three to five to, to, to have what I want. So consolidated, got rid of older galleries. Uh, you could add a hello bar to let people know you've made changes. And what I actually wanna do now, let's go back here, and I'm not tired of Enter Me. I like Enter Me, uh, that's fine. But what I want to do is I wanna add some more stuff. I want more buttons. Like I've got Enter Me and that's taking you to my mom. That's kind of, I know some people are like, oh, that's terrible. I'm like, whatever. Uh, so I've got six degrees line one. Look at that. It's that easy, it's right there. Oh, I gotta click here to add a URL. So it's gonna go to content, existing content, 100 year old, 100 year old. Okay, I'm gonna start it with the first degree, which is Steve Weatherford. And that's where I want it to be. How do I hit save, Jared? Hit save? Oh, okay, yes, hit save. So sometimes I'm not really exactly sure what I'm supposed to do, so I do that. Um, I may end up getting rid of Enter Me. Can I, can I move these? Oh, I think I would move them right here by just switching the button order. So I've got, let's see, if I go to six degrees, one, it takes you right to Weatherford. And then you can just see down here, there's two, three, four, five, and six. So you've got that, that's great. Um, back to the homepage, one thing I haven't done is ha I have one image. So I, I'll probably go ahead and add more buttons, six degrees line one. I don't know if I'll add six degrees line two, three, four, like add all of those. Um, get rid of enter me. I'll 
I'm probably getting rid of enter me the more I look at it. But what I want to show you for time purposes is edit imagery. Oh, over here. You can add a video that plays. I can add an image. So if I want to go ahead, I'm going to upload it. So let me find an image of Steve. Ah, I love this photo of him and his family. So I'm going to hit upload and I'm going to go ahead and drag this right here. And I'm going to hit open. And now it's going to rotate on the front page from the first image, which is an image of me. And right now it's loading. It's still loading on the back end. And it should start rotating automatically to Steve's image. So there you've got that. And as you, here, I'll show you what a responsive website does. JaredPoland.com. So it starts with Enter Me. All the changes are there, but you can see how the website changes and morphs to the size of your screen. And if you were on a phone, it does that too. I have to figure out, can I change the, the, the speed of this? But I'm going to add some more images from six degrees and then pretty much call it a day. So then we'll go into Lewis Howes and I want to find a cool image of Lewis that would be representative, that would look good on a page. So I'm just going through these images that I, I mean, I would use, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. This is even better. So let's go ahead and use this one. Open. That's going to load. Then I'm going to put up another one. And then I'll probably call it the day. Oh, I know which one I love. It's probably this one, isn't it? No. It's this one. This is one of my favorite of Jason Flom. So I go ahead and drag that and I add that. And as you can see now, we've got four images across the front that are going to rotate. I have to see if I can speed that up. That's something that I'm going to have to figure out in the back end whether or not you can do. But it's probably action, create button, links, and forms, social icons, styles. Oh, so we've already been here. All right, we've got that. I have to find out where the hello bar thing is too. Oh, that looks good too. Because I also want to make sure that the, 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 the boxes look good. So I'll have six degrees. I'll have, I'll keep working on some of the other stuff, guys. But this is, I just updated my website in the span of we're at 20 some minutes right now. We're at 25 minutes of me recording this. So this video is roughly at the 24 minute mark right now. And I've already, I've already changed my website up to, to do what I wanted to do. I added my six degrees. I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to change more of this front page um, when, we're, when I'm done recording this because I just wanted to show you how this all worked. And it's just really simple. And I needed to keep up with it. And I needed to just make the change here because I want to share my type of images. Six degrees, photo stories. That's what I do. And so when people show up back to my website, they will be they'll be able to direct themselves. Do they want to go to six degrees? Do they want to go to photo stories? So instead of enter me, I can go to photo stories. But what I would love to have is that if you went to photo stories, you could just select a different photo story right from that page. But hopefully people just know that when you go to this enter me, which isn't going to say enter me, it's going to say photo story. They'll be able to come down here to the bottom and select a different photo story. I'm going to keep looking to see if there's a way to have all of my photo stories just show up as a specific page. And if I do figure that out, I will make another video showing you how this is done. So if you would like to support this channel and this free content, please support Squarespace. And that means if you don't already have one for yourself, you're looking to build your turnkey solution for your own website that you have full control of and you don't need to know anything about creating an HTML website because what you see is what you get. You drag and you drop. You just saw what I did in 25 minutes and I know that you can do it. Go to squarespace.com slash Fronos Photo to get a 14 day free trial. If you decide that it's for you or when you decide it's for you, use the code Fronos Photo at checkout to get 10% off your very first order. That's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Poland, I'm pointing too soon. Fronosphoto.com. See ya.